Hello dear chess friends, here is Fide Master Norbert Bart from Germany. Today I will show you a, ga a game between Morozevich Alexander and David Navarra from uh, Reggio Emilia, Italy 2010. I picked up this game because I like Morozevich play and this game is, a, is an example how Morozevich is using tactical motives to improve his position and how he creates problems for his opponents. So let's start with the game. It is a Slav defense. Morozevich uh, is also um, a player who plays the Slav defense with the black pieces and now he is fighting against his own defense. The opening variation which Navarra choose is uh, for me very unusual because he is known as Grunfeld defense specialist and now I'm curious what he prepared against Rosevich. So they are playing the main line and now um, Rosevich is playing very solid is not playing uh, immediately bishop g5 which implies a pawn sacrifice on c4 he is protecting immediately the pawn on c4 so what kind of plans are here for black he is trying to free his bishop on c8 by playing d c4 and then b5 bishop b7 a6 and c5 this is a plan how he can uh, free his bishop from c8. And let's see what uh, what kind of plan is choosing Morozevich to combat Black's plan. And now he's playing the solid queen c2, and he is fighting against the uh, uh, Black's plan, freeing him himself by playing c5 a3 and now the radi radical measure he is playing b4 and says says no i don't let you play c5 so now navara is creating another target on b4 protecting the pawn and attacking once again the question is who won the opening battle now Navarra has a very clear target and after winning this pawn perhaps he can free himself but uh, Morozevich has other plans he's trying to create problems and he's uh, fighting for the center threatening e5 he's uh, combating this threat and now centralizing the knight on the center square by threatening to exchange his important uh, bishop who is attacking the pawn. He's taking the pawn and now centralizing the knight, avoiding the attack on e5. He's taking and now of course uh, he wants to take with the knight because he can't take now with a knight, I take with a knight, he takes with a queen and now the bishop remains undefended so it's not possible to take now with a knight. He must prepare that and uh, this is a, a crucial moment in the opening battle. Now if uh, black succeed in, in winning the pawn back and uh, consolidate his uh, bishop then we can say he solved his opening problems but now Rosevich is using every tempo to improve his uh, position he's attacking the queen and then uh, he is uh, attacking the knight and then uh, he must uh, protect against this threat and Morozevich is attacking once again the uh, bishop and then pawn on e6 
defending he I can't take the bishop because the uh, bishop remains unprotected so I take with check he's defending I take I take and now uh, protect my bishop and now we can uh, summarize the result of this tactical motives we can see uh, why it has a compact uh, pawn structure a solid center and uh, black has some difficulties to protect his um, bishop on b4 and to free his bishop on c8 also uh, the knight on uh, e5 is not very solid, he, it can be attacked with f4 so uh, uh, the third mo uh, motive which is in this position white has also possibilities on uh, the a2 g8 diagonal by playing for example bishop e1, bishop b3 pinning this rook so uh, the engines uh, are saying this position is, uh, position is equal but I say uh, in a practical game it, it, it is much easier for white to play this position and uh, it necessitates uh, a very very good playing from bla for, for black to um, coordinate his pieces which don't work together in, at the moment so uh, he's attacking the queen attacking the bishop and now he's trying to centralize his bishop and protect it. with tempo he's attacking the queen and now he's offering a queen exchange but uh, of course Morozevich is not interested in, exchange, in exchanging three uh, queens. He's in, uh, attacking the knight in the center, and he can't exchange the queens because then uh, these two pieces remain unprotected. So he's uh, retreating the knight with tempo. It's attacking the bishop, and now um, from this moment on. Morozevich uh, is uh, threatening with uh, every move uh, the remaining pieces is exchanging the queens and now with tempo he is threatening the rook and as we see there are two problems in this position three four problems there is the eight rank which is not uh, consolidated sometimes it's threatening check and the bishop is uh, attacked and this bishop has the task of defending this uh, knight on g4 therefore it is a huge problem if this uh, bishop is attacked then he can't protect the knight and uh, therefore uh, he must find a safe place for hi his rook playing rook a4 and now he's defending against the check uh, on d4 exchange exchanging more pieces he's def defending now uh, d8 then because white threatens uh, rook d8 and now he's defending uh, this uh, point but now he's attacking with tempo again the pawn on c6 and uh, he uh, realized that it's very difficult to protect this uh, pawn and uh, taking care of his bishop and knight he retreats the knight attacking e4 but this is also um, r uh, he realized that he lost a strategical battle and now Morozevich is using again a tactical motive to use this uh, diagonal by attacking with tempo the rook and threatening bishop b3 he's taking the pawn but it's too late stake takes and then bishop b3 the battle is lost he's protecting a take takes and the last solid move rook a1 uh, 
very precise move um, trying to use the weakness of the 8th rank so he's attacking the rook but now I'm pinning the the knight he's taking on d6 I'm taking on d6 and now of course uh, black can't uh, defend the f8 and c7 uh, squares are not available and black resigned a very nice example uh, a very nice game by Morozevich thank you for listening